Hey everybody, John Albino here, and welcome to Bulletproof Music Studio. Well, today uh, we got something very, very special. Uh, today we went into the Guitar Cavern and we pulled out this uh, little beauty here, and I wanted to talk to you about it. Um, it's got quite a history. Uh, this is a 1956 Gibson LG Zero. Now, this kind of guitar was uh, particularly made back in the 50s uh, for students. It was actually a student guitar. Or as my grandfather would also say, it was a parlor guitar, meaning that it was a smaller guitar uh, that you could take into a parlor, which we would know, uh, know as a living room, and you'd be able to play it for the family, and of course the family would do sing-alongs and everything. That's what they did back in those days. Uh, I think that's pretty amazing. Um, but it had that, that kind of uh, use. So it would sit in the corner of a, of a living room, or like I said, uh, it was a big, big time um, student guitar. And at that time, uh, it really outsold and outperformed uh, many other guitars that were student guitars around the same price. It really is just a real gem. As you're looking at the guitar, you can see it just by looking at my body, how much smaller this guitar actually is. Um, I remember picking it up in a uh, music store in New Jersey uh, many, many, many years ago. Uh, they were going out of business and I just seen this guitar hanging and I just said, wow, uh, you know, it's, of course, you know, what we always say, I gotta have it. And I wound up getting it and um, we took it home and I had it spruced up, uh, you know, where I just had everything cleaned on it. Uh, the frets were done on it. Um, and it really is just an amazing guitar. It's also a great uh, recording guitar. I've recorded many, many records using this guitar as either the main guitar or a secondary acoustic. Now, when you're looking at this guitar, um, it really is set upon uh, real simplistic specs. When you're looking at it and you turn it around, you can look, and you're looking at the machine heads or the tuners, it's all in one on both sides. And folks, these are the original uh, tuners. In fact, the whole guitar is completely original. So you had one, two, three, one side, one, two, three on the other, but they're all connected. When you're looking at this, it's funny because coincidentally, uh, when they called this uh, guitar, uh, student guitar, when, you're, when you look at it, it's very, very small. And when you look at the pickguard, the pickguard on this guitar is very, very big. So I would think to myself, if you were a student and you were first starting out and you, were, you had gotten a guitar like this, um, you were probably banging on it a lot. And so they put a very, very, pick, very, very big pickguard on it to protect the guitar because I, I would imagine you weren't that accurate at that time. And once again, as we look down, just you know, a regular bridge, all right, with regular uh, bridge pins that held it, and just a regular tongue. Very, very, very simplistic guitar. Uh, but what I do like about this, these guitars is that it actually has a fairly thin neck. It's very, very fast considering. And the action, and of course, when we talk about the action, the action itself is very, is really, really comfortable. It's very close to the frets. Of course, it comes with a truss rod adjustment. Uh, just like all guitars did back then, just in case if you wanted to adjust that. Um, it came with a bone uh, nut here. And again, it's just such a pleasure to play. I, I just want to play a couple things on it and show you. Um, it, it just has such a silky, satiny uh, sound to it. Uh, it's very enjoyable. Uh, when I was pulling it out of the uh, Bulletproof uh, uh, guitar cavern, uh, my son had seen it and uh, he always flipped out over this guitar. And it's definitely one of these guitars that he would uh, want in his collection. And of course, you know, we always say, you know, uh, maybe one day, someday. But I gotta tell you that I'm really enjoying playing this guitar um, and it's very, very, very useful. Uh, again, 
great recording guitar, great secondary recording guitar. I just absolutely love it. And I wanted to share it with you today. So that's going to be it for this, uh, this session of Bulletproof Music Studio, Everything Music. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen today, and uh, we will be seeing you soon. Thanks again. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment. Also, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you are notified when we upload new videos or go live. You can also find us on social media at Bulletproof Music Studio or at our website at bulletproofmusicstudio.com. Thank you for watching and keep on rocking.